the same count, but I'd go the opposite way. Um, right. I feel like by just by pure Quake Champions itself, I think Waz has just had historically a bit more success. Yeah. Um, and he's had some, you know, some some tricky opponents in the past. So, you know, we can't judge him on previous results and we'll go by what we think it might do right now. I think 2-1, but I think Waz. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough, right? Waz is also someone that we know can actually really pack a punch. Both of them did get their wins over Sib as well. Obviously, with Waz taking him on, what, back in... Uh, was it week three or was it week two, I believe? I really can't remember at this point. I've you, thrown that out. You're asking someone that has quite possibly the worst memory in the world. That's why I think we're both tied for that. I don't think I was here. Was I here? See, that's the problem. I'm literally... I don't even remember what weeks I've done. That, that's there how bad go. it is. How late is it here? Have I got an excuse for being tired? Um, probably that? not. It's not. It's not as oh. late as normal. It's oh, early. It's only quarter to ten. I know. Not very late. Oh damn. It's rough. Can we do this again, guys? Take two. Ow, I hurt my hands. Wow, you're um, right. No, nah, medic. I'm down. Help. Cuck. Help. Oh, my hands hurt. That's why my memories. <laughs> you uh, know. Uh, there you go. Oh, my, that's my, why you bad forget. Bad hands. Bad hands. That's that's what it comes. Um, <clears throat> that's Quake, everybody. Down to Quake Pro League. Yep. There we go. Descent into madness. Fantastic. Yeah. I blame my lack of sugar intake. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get enough sleep last night. It's <laughs> <Right>? okay. <laughs> it's okay. I do hope the first map is ready soon so we can cut this awkward silence with a machete. Almost. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks. for just, just hang in there, guys. Just, just hang in. Just hang in there. Um, but, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, going back to what we talked about at the very beginning, um, yeah. there's there's the running theme about the Americas today, which I think is um, just about... There's, there's a, a quite a large group of players that I think will be kind of battling out for what we'll call the... The comfort zone and effortless and was I kind of put them on the upper end of that so far with how they've been playing so far uh, interested to see how this result's gonna go um, I don't think either of these two are at risk of uh, relegation but no. it'll be nice to see how high they can place by the end of the season that's for sure well, we're going to find out. We're into it. Waz versus Effortless. I think this actually should give us uh, a pretty good insight into both of where these players are currently situated. We're going to start off with big man Effortless, though. And he's already got himself uh, a fair few weapons to work with. He's got the rocket. He's got the rail as well. And he is uh, already looking quite fierce as he tries to open it up with the initiation rail, Ryan. And I really do rate Ranger on this map. Ever since the very beginning, we've always seen the Dire Orb sort of combo of collecting multiple weapons at the same time. You know, he's the only champion in the game Ooh. that can kind of collect two pickups at once. And it's something you kind of have to always expect. You know, in so many ways, when you start a, when you start a duel and you realize what spawn you're at, it's always weighing up. Right, what are they going to spawn near and what weapons do they have? Ooh. It lets you change your decision. Yeah, core swapping weapons at a pretty bad time. Effortless missing some crucial shots too. Forced to retreat, tail between his legs, but we'll see how long that's going to be for. Yeah, my point was that Ranger commands a different start. And if you're against Ranger, you kind of need to assume he's going to have more weapons than you would normally have. Okay, we've also actually seen him now be able to pick himself up an LG. We're about a minute in. There's only been a little bit of a kerfuffle. There's not really been too much commotion to write home about, although that is definitely oh. going to be a big piece of the pie. Effortless just getting annihilated there with two rapid-fire rails being delivered straight to him off the back of Waz. Now, this is a good way to start things off. He's looking for more, and he's still landing those tags as well. Waz, looking good. Oh, he gets the perfect read, but he's uh, looking kind of vulnerable on the way. Not going to be super disappointed yet. He's going to get the Mega, but as always with the Light Champs, you have to look at armor. And there should be a Light nearby. Yeah, he's a bit of a delay. If there is a Light Champ and you know there's a Mega, getting the Light Armor is kind of you know, one of the more predictable routes someone will try and take. So you have to kind of second guess it a couple of times, only when the coast is clear. But yeah, I think Waz can now start to establish this slow-paced game, which is what he's doing. You know, he's sitting there and he's looking for some information to follow. And it'll be interesting to see what he does next. He's pretty low on the rocket department. Again. Oh, the traded rail. Neither hit their mark, but Effortless missing, going in for a second rail. This should be a big punish, but he's a rail as well. Yeah, consistent, but nothing crucial just yet. Fortunately, he gets some more rockets, which is only ever a good thing. You can never have too many rockets. Waz right now. In a fairly good position overall. As he's just going to be roaming around, seeing what he can actually spot out here, firing out those initial rockets. As Effortless starts to put himself back up on the high ground, trading out on the rails, but they're both barely missing. Gets the connection across, does tag him, but they're still making this one way more awkward than it needs to be. Waz on the aggressive now. Lost a lot of his armor, still has the HP to play with, though. Effortless' stack is way higher. Nice movement coming around from Waz to 
navigate his way around the map and restock himself. And this puts him to a better position, fires out the warning shots, the rocket barely going to miss, switches out to the rail, tries to go for the heightened approach as he bounces back up, but Effortless is fancying none of it, although he's still caught on the escape off the back of the rail. We're seeing a lot of nice rails, but we're not seeing a lot of rails that mean a great deal, and that's actually becoming quite a problem, because uh, the rail is only one piece of the puzzle with these fights. You have to be able to finish it as well. That said, Waz going towards some more ammo. Effortless pressing the advantage, but more misses will be uh, punished with a little bit of damage, but once more, it's no frags just yet. The thing is, Waz still doesn't have any rail ammo, and that's actually one of the things that Effortless might take as a bit of a win. I guess you would assume, why is he going towards rail, right? Is this guy going to be out? But he's down to just the heavy machine gun so far, and if Effortless can maintain a rail instead, then he's kind of got a bit of an ace in the hole in that respect. But here we go. Should be able to undo it. Get some ammo. Yeah, thank you very much. But now he's actually completely reset across the board as well. Everything's back up, so he's going to be sitting pretty off the back of that. He's really going to be too worried about what he actually has to play with now. Although, you need to hit those rail shots or do something a little bit sneaky like he's up to now with a downwards dog on the rockets trying to land those and really rip him a new one. It will get a bit awkward, but luckily the Mega comes out just in time. Waz is tremendously low and finally goes down. Quite a few of these fights have come across as a little bit awkward, to be honest. Yeah. There's just been a lot of these weird misses. Uh, that that wow, was, that was nice. not one of those cases. And I almost feel like that was Waz understanding, hey, Ephelus and I have both been missing some weird shots, so maybe if I fly in, he's not going to hit it. Bam! Instantly the opposite of what we were all expecting. So, Ephelus coming online, if not temporarily. Barely misses the rail, but there's a few more opportunities. Waz giving himself to Ephelus on a silver platter. And I think, well, Ephelus seems to be reaching that next level. Now it's Waz's turn. Yeah, that was actually really sick. Things are starting to ramp up now. Maximum effort from Ek Effortless at this point as he's really starting to get into the game. Fires off the warning rockets. It's a big chase oh. coming around. Nice prediction. The dire all in. Oh, he's so low. Surely he doesn't get away for free, Ryan. I mean, even at that health, he needs health to get away. There's one small health bubble near SSG, but it won't cut the mustard. There's a whole bunch of armor left, and there's a bit of a timer on that, giving Effortless time to run in and maybe even steal it away. If he's quick, he might be too slow. I think it's just about. And yeah, Waz. Intelligently, Waz doesn't overstay his welcome there. Uh, if he got ambushed, he did not have the stack to take that fight. He would have died for sure. Effortless, looking a little bit impatient now with the prediction rockets coming out just on the off chance, making a little bit of ruckus as he roams around. Now actually holding, listening out for the audio cue, gets the control of Mega, going to drop himself back down. That's the restock, which actually comes in at a critical time as well. He needed the extra LG ammo, and he might put it to use here. Instead, it is going to be the burst that comes across, trying to just burn his way through the stock Psych. that Waz has. That's actually nicely executed. They're both at the same position. Goes in for the other oh, angle. That was such Restocks an amazing himself. rocket jump, Jackie. That rocket jump was off the chain. And now, can he even turn this one around? The wall jump's going to keep him alive, but barely. Uh-oh, going in, and he chases it. Misses the rail, but Waz does not. That was a bit of a clencher all the way through from start to finish. But Waz is the one that finally takes it. There's still work that needs to be done. It was only one frag, and we need one more. Effortless falls down. And I mean, you set him up, I'll knock him down. No dire orb's going to be used, because it was used to steal away. And uh, just like that, Jackie, it's three for three. How crazy was that sequence? Yeah, that was actually really nice. Pure frag movie level stuff right there. The cinematic that we wanted to see. Oh, they spot each other. And this is where the aggression starts to come into effect. You can see Waz really looking quite confident to now try and go for these fights. Realizing, tied up 3-3, free free, we're at seven minutes. If I can get the advantage, push the advantage right here, right now. Take us to a 4-3 scoreline. I can then try and go for a delay tactic. Instead, though, he's so low, he has to use it to escape. He can't use it to be too aggressive. It was calculated, though. Holding the angle after he backed off could have worked out well for him. Instead, we fall into, a, again, a bit of a stalemate, restocking himself up, finds the hourglasses, tons of damage done from the LG. He wants this one, Ryan, and it might come his way. There's plenty of time left to make something happen, too. I definitely think this might be one of those maps that comes down to, you know, oh, 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 oh. watch out for that rocket, Waz. Always went into it direct and missing the rail. Obviously, that's going to be on return damage here. I was going to say, I think this might come down to uh, one of those final frag situations. Because I formally... I mean, it's hard to call. Um, I feel like Ephelus had that one moment where he just exploded. But, uh, you know, Waz, it's more awareness coming through. 
Uh, he was being a bit careless, and that, that's why he conceded those two frags at the very beginning. Ephelus was, oh, understandably, missing quite a few shots, and Mass like, oh, he's probably going to just miss again, and then BAM! You know, these sick rails just came out of nowhere. Oh, talking of sick rails, that's what Waz wants to do here, as he is beginning to punish. Gets himself the bubble as well to try and restock his house ever so slightly. That's going to be the armor pickup that will really come in clutch. Hourglass is secured as he's just using the momentum he's now got. They're actually burning their way through all of the time they have available to them. If he can get a kill now, he might actually secure the victory for himself already. If not, it looks like this could actually be going into a sudden death scenario here, Ryan. But, yeah. oh, the fight coming back through. Well, we sure know that Waz did, well, he did, past tense, have a magnificent stack. Effortless, calling the bluff and doesn't teleport towards the orb and the LG at the last second. Coming in hot. Effortless now back to the wall. Desperation time. We're going to make something happen. We have one minute to happen. Now, oh, can he do it? Off the spawn. Spawning near the catacombs, he only has an LG. So, yeah, he doesn't have a lot. Oh. I, you know, props for trying and going in, but Waz is going to take that fight because he knows he only has a shotgun and an LG down there. That's not a huge amount for Waz to fear. And uh, he just went in for the kill. And now it's two frags down. It's only a rocket launcher. Did he even have the opportunity to get the rail? Who knows, because Ephelus goes down again. That one frag that didn't go in his favor, and Waz intelligently going off the spawn and just doing the maths, really. Yeah, and now he can actually just have free reign to fight if he wants to. At this point, it's so unlikely that Ephelus will be able to overthrow and beat the current scoreline that he has available to him. So he was actually going in for more and more and more, just trying to push out the confidence and really lock it down for some uh, last minute fun time frags. But at this point, it seems like it is basically as good as done, Ryan. Take it out. The the oven it's done yep at this stage all we have to do is uh leave it to rest and cool down because that's going to be one map and we have a little bit of time for that to happen as now we're going into number two and uh yeah i i, I gotta say evenly matched for the most part it all kind of fell apart for poor old effortless right at the end but yeah. that was just a matter i think of just waz having a good game sense if anything just understanding that we finally get a favorable frag and then he's in a position where you know i know you're going to spawn in the catacombs, for example, I think of all the spawns, that was probably one of the worst ones Everless could have had because there's nothing down there. And if your your hand is being forced where you've got to try and make something happen, an LG and a shotgun on that map is nowhere near enough. Yeah. And uh, also, you're a sitting duck. And, you know, spawn near Rocket, once again, was really the tool for the job. And a last minute, I guess, acceleration that Waz saw. But it took the entire map to reach that point. There were definitely moments of Everless signs of life, fighting back, Definitely not going to count him out, but that was going to be Waz's number one. See if he's going to make it a 2 0. Yeah, I mean, overall, if you look at it just for what it was, right, Waz definitely seemed to have a slight advantage just in terms of the majority of the game, especially once he gained control. He was just one step ahead of Effortless in a lot of the firefights he went for. The direct hits with the rockets he was landing were very crisp. Both of them were landing some really quite gnarly rails. Like, that was the difference maker to just get themselves into the game was how precise some of those rail shots they were actually landing. So if that's a factor that's going to be kept up throughout the rest of the series, it's uh, it's definitely going to provide us with some fun moments. Well, we'll see what happens next. It's going to be Awoken as our next map, so you know, naturally things will always change. Blood Covenant, one of the more, I guess, fundamentally focused maps, and it always has been. And then you take something like Awoken, which is, uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's a bit of a fan favourite at this stage. Yeah. You know, the players really, really love Awoken, and if you ask people what their favourite dual map is, it's kind of like always within that top three for a lot of people. Um, but it's naturally quite different. And, you know, we always say that because the rotation of maps, that they always bring something new to the table. Uh, but in this instance, it's going to be a lot more, I think, firefight focused is Awoken. And so far, it looks a little bit to me like there were moments of greatness from Ephelus, but right now it kind of looks like Waz has a little bit of a better fight yeah. whenever they manage to break one out. So uh, I kind of think we're going into this. I still think we're going into this one advantage, Waz. I think this could very well be a 2-0. Um, but it's kind of hard to gauge. It depends on the, the, both of the players at the very start of that map took a while to reach potential. You know, um, there was a lot of sort of like fumbled fights where the rails were just missing their mark. And it was like, hey, you got to hit that one final shot and neither of them could. And they kind of disengage, take more time, build back up, hit rails, fight almost happens, miss a shot again. And you know, about two or three minutes of that map was kind of wasted on just bad fights from both sides. Yeah. So I think this map, we're actually going into this one with the question of who's more ready instantly. And that's going to make a big deal going into map number two for sure.
Potential factor as well, at this point, they've already played a map, so there might be a little bit more weight going into this. You know, you, you, your reflex is going to be on the ball now. You've had your, your early morning flicks coming through. You should be a little bit more pumped getting into it, so maybe not as lethargic. Because some of the shots, as you said, they were a little bit of a, an awkward miss here and there. That's why we actually saw that change of aggression, right? Because otherwise it was a... Uh, it was a much slower affair, but we're back in. Map 2, Effortless versus Waz. Let's see if things are different or what is going to be the case. As we know, this can provide us with some ridiculous moments. We have some Awoken champion picks. Doom Slayer coming out from Effortless. I feel like if it's Awoken, you're you know, almost guaranteed to see the Slayer at least once throughout the course of the broadcast. That double jump just makes such a huge difference. You can see it here. You know, just The ability to go wherever you want without being hindered uh, it makes a big difference. And saw lag. You know, it's just movement. Movement and stack more than anything. Easy to cycle around those important pickups. Plus, acid spit always helps. Oh, effortless. Looks to try and kick things off early here. It was a nice opening rocket. If you would have landed the rail, things actually could have gone a little bit differently. Instead, though, it doesn't really work out the way he wants to. He has got Waz's stack low, but is he going to fully commit to this? Will he actually charge in deep? Or opt to try and play the slower game and more defensive style? Those rail angles nice and early, though. Got to be careful there with saw lag. I think the rail makes a big difference against saw lag because you don't want to dive yourself face first into a fight versus a stack that large. Uh, least of all with, I think, also the chase down ability. And if she lands that shot, she can go deceivingly fast quite quickly. Effortless missing these rails is going to allow Waz to be aggressive, but we are seeing some damage come through, but the rail's not enough to kill. With five HP remaining, you know that Ethel has kind of put all of his eggs in the basket of this is going to kill, because it was the downtime that got him killed at the end. Yeah, it's an awkward way to start things off, already being 1-0 down. He can come back from this, but he has given Waz time to completely restock and also keep that confidence oh, booming. Oh no! Oh my word! I, I'm, I'm gonna. I can only assume. Surely he got hit by the rail mid double jump or something, and he just had his momentum stuff. Please tell me we got that on the other side. Oh, oh. we got it. We're gonna see it. Thank God for that. I'm going to assume he got caught at a double jump and got more height. Because that's pretty high up for that ledge. Yeah, and obviously it's just booped him straight out through the crack, through the crevasse. Oh my god. Well, the one thing Effortless needs to do is A, not get tilted by that, and B, not get tilted at just how much Waz is constantly surviving by. Okay, there's the suicide coming through. So now it's going to be undone, and wonderful little rail on the spawn. Classic little spawn trap here on Awoken. Oh, both of them. Suffering a bit of a blunder so far into this one. It does mean it is only the 1-0 lead so far. So there is an opportunity for them to actually continue on and start to do some damage. Waz just playing around for the restock right now as he wants to get his overall stack back up. He does have an awful lot to play over in terms of his tools of destruction, though. Effortless. Oh, going out with the pre-fire rockets, expecting him to actually push towards him. Instead, Waz is just playing it really slow. He also has his spit available to him, and he's going to entry in off the back of the LG. That's the spit to try and deny the jump back up as well. Repositions to at least grab some stack. That's a nice tag. And now things are scary for Effortless. Collects the heavy too. If you're one of those heavy champions, max health and then armor is in many ways sometimes a bit more scary than Mega by itself. The more armor you have, the bigger you can kind of just force your way in, take those crazy fights the way they come through. And Waz consistently having more stack too in these fights, which is making a big difference. Effortless has not really been able to hit those kind of like preemptive rails that you're supposed to land before a fight breaks out. Uh, and I think that's why Sawlag is so dangerous, because it's very rare that you... Oh my god, that LG was tasty! But uh, my point was that it's hard to take a fight versus Sawlag without landing any damage first. She'll, in many ways, kind of just bully her way into you. Denial for the Mega. A worthy price paid. The Acid Spit doesn't do a huge amount on this map. It's definitely more for denial than damage. Oh, 2-0. Four minutes done. Six minutes left to go. Waz holding the angle. Just going to fire out a few of those warning rockets to at least put the pressure on and put some fear in the heart of Effortless if possible. Backing up as he repositions. Finally, Effortless starting to make a move on as he's going to glide around the map. We should see another confrontation somewhat soon. But Waz really has had basically complete control of all of the pickups here. He's been uh, essentially uncontested for the most part, Ryan. 
I think a massive part of it comes down to the stack uh, that, that Waz has been maintaining the entire time. It, it is a really smart champion pick that's allowing him to kind of uh, just kind of, you know, muscle around the map and effortless, not hitting as many shots as he almost should do before the fight. And also Waz not really giving him an easy angle. And even if the rail connects, as we can clearly see, Waz isn't having a hard time hitting the shots himself. No, so it's, it's very much remaining even. And now Heavy gets taken. Ooh. All right. Oh, geez, coming down. Acid ticks and give him some information as he runs away. And ooh, hits the wow. shot again. Sawlag can definitely tank with this HP. It's going to take a couple of rails for Sawlag to die at this health. Yeah, it's rough. Still a 2 0. Waz essentially just playing the delay game. Finally gets back into a fight, brought down to 88 HP. Effortless, in a much better position in terms of actually having armor and health to work with. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay. That's uh, almost went through the teleporter, but I think actually caught the uh, the actual wall of the teleporter itself. But at this stage, you know, Waz, he's not looking for constant frags. He's looking for this, the constant sitting around and gathering information, staying alive. You know, not giving up those frags. Sawlag's deceivingly high movement is always a, a dangerous benefit on a map like this because she can stack up, fortify, and just play the patient man's game. And that's exactly what Baz is doing right now. You know, he's sitting around banana. You can see that the speed. Do one thing about Doomslayer, he's got the airborne, you know, he's got the verticality thanks to double jump, but he hasn't got the speed. There's no way he can catch a Sawlag that's going this fast. Even with Berserk popped, but he, you know, she can still outspeed him. Oh shot. She can also out DPS him right now, it seems like. The constant tick there with the damage over time coming out from the spit, melting its way through the armor that is on the body of Effortless. Waz might be lower in terms of the HP, but the shots that he's been hitting have been deadly. However, he finally gets a taste of his own medicine as Effortless will start to do some damage. The spawn rail will connect as well to try and cripple Waz. Oh, but look at the movement coming out. Full speed ahead, my friend. And the heavy being taken means Effortless is in a good position, to be honest. And there's definitely room to breathe and wiggle and see what he can do to get back in this fight. He's got a nice stack to work with. Ah, no rockets, though. Has to get a bit of rockets. Yeah, no problem at all. There it is. Give it back to me. Oh, he walks right into the acid. And if anything, that's going to be information for Waz. The ticking down and look how much damage he took as well. Just like that, Effortless had something that resembled control, and in the blink of an eye, it's been stolen away from him once more, and Waz maintaining this frag lead and the ability to play patient if he wants to. And there's a reason. A lot of spam coming through, thanks to the nail gun, or plasma in this case. And all Effortless can do is just listen out, try and land some damage without giving his position away too much. At this stack, he knows Waz can just steamroll him if he wants to. Well, try bolt. I'm going to send off some warning shots. A red flag being put up. Waz much better off in terms of his overall stack. And the movement coming into effect. But finally they get back in for another head-on battle. Effortless. Very low. At least has the opportunity to grab himself some extra armor to play with. Has the rocket in hand as well. Fires off the shot. It's going to barely miss. The LG coming across. But it's not going to be the kill. He's so low, Ryan. Surely he actually does go down here. And that will be the 3-1 to one lead. With 8 minutes on the clock. If he finds another frag, this might get really awkward. The close range confrontation doesn't work out well for Effortless. He now perishes. Oh, this is uh, not going well. And at the same time, uh, Waz isn't looking at a, a particularly weak stack, but there's the Berserk. He knows he hasn't got armor, and the entry damage was more than sufficient for the Berserk to come in and rip and tear, doing exactly what it says on the tin. There is still, though, only one frag separating the two players. Effortless has a really good stack. Caught in the air, though. That's a bad look. Hits a rail, needs one more. Hang on a minute, there's an opportunity here, but he can't squander it. He has to make it work. Misses Ooh. the rail. Oh no! Oh, he needed to hit that second to last rail so badly. And the miss delivered the death sentence, Jackie. That sucks. Yeah, that's awful. The difference maker could have been incredible at this point. Now, though, you leave yourself in such a really, really bad predicament. You're four to two in terms of the total kills. You have 60 seconds left to make your decisions and really make your play count. You need two frags in that time to push this to a sudden death scenario. And honestly, it's going to be so, so hard. Waz using the spit as an area of effect denial, also getting the dot off to burn his way through any extra reserves that Effortless might have in terms of his overall stack. And it just makes it so much worse for wear. Time ticking down as well. We're nearing the final 30 seconds, the final showdown 
down here. And honestly, this should be Waz with a 2-0. It's an awkward position, isn't it? You know that Waz is sitting on a acceptable stack for this stage. He's completely given up control because at this point, who needs it? And uh, he can just kind of listen out for the warning signs. Get out when he needs to. In this position, the rocket jump comes through. Potentially, if Everless were to get a frag there, which is hard considering his stack is unfortunately very, very low. Uh, he needed to get that frag immediately and then maybe get a favorable spawn. It was the only way he was going to come back from that. In this case, there is nothing to be had at all. And a map win once more is going to go in the favor of Waz, making it a 2-0. And we now are in a position where the bonus third map is coming into play. And if Waz wins this, then, I mean, he's kind of shooting himself significantly up the leaderboards. Yeah, this is huge, really. Uh, you know, for Waz right now, this is been fantastic overall. You've already got the 2-0. That means you have basically won the entire series. You've got that under your belt at the very least, right? You're going to be happy with that at the majority of points. But there's the bonus points, which if you can walk away with, then absolutely go for it. Because, I mean, he'd be in a pretty sick position from this point forward. What, right now, rank 6 um, in NA? You, you could be jumped up pretty oh, highly. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, that is what happened. Just caught, caught midair. And, uh, yeah, just bad time to get up. Oh my god! It's so awkward that was as well. Like, it's that such was a like small a small gap. That was like a pool trick shot. <laughs> it was. That's yeah. all that was. That was just a pool trick shot in quake form. He's been playing his beer pong. You know, that's like off the wall, straight in. That was sick. That was really nice. I'll never get tired of seeing a berserk kill. I know they're few and far between, but when the time is right, you can still pop it. And it's uh oh. The Doom fan and me is a big fan of it. But uh, yeah, so ultimately that's going to be a 2-0 right now for Waz. But mm. we're not finished. We still have the final map to go. Which, if I can consult this real quick, it's... Corrupted Keep is next. We have new graphics, so it's a bit different to follow. On the fly, I could normally just revert my eyeballs, but I probably should have practiced beforehand. But it's uh, new graphics, you see. Oh, yeah. You see, the, the, the logo is a bit different. Little squarey well, boys. Yeah, yeah, little squarey boys. It was, uh, used to those. They, it was like a list before, but now it's like squarey boys. Uh, but right. the information remains the same. So it should be Corrupted Keep up next as our final map. And I don't know, with how things have gone so far, I actually, I, for the same reasons I would have uh, rated Waz on Awoken, I'd rate him on Keep mm -hmm. for the same reason, you know. Um, yeah. Because it, he just seems to be, he's handling the fights a lot better and he's kind of playing that, he's kind of playing around the fights better too, you know, where he, he's always the one, it feels like he's always in control. And you can very much take that kind of like fast, assertive dominance on a map like Awoken and put it into keep. Even without the rail, you can still kind of, you know, put your mark in there uh, in a similar way. Depends on the kind of champion you pick and whoever you're against, of course. But I don't really see things changing too much. This could no. very well be a 3-0. Yeah, at this point, I'd actually probably agree with you and say that, like, Waz is just going to take this walk away with a 3 0. He just looks way more commanding. In, in terms of the actual fights they've had, right? Like, he just looks like it's it's all fairly easy for him. Like, quite smooth sailing. Predictions are definitely there. Overall, he just appears to be in command. But you never know. We're in for the action. Let's see as we strap ourselves in one final time between Waz and Effortless Waz with a bit of a rough start this time. Yeah, getting caught with the wrong weapon out. Dual wield doesn't really help that much if you're not able to hit those shots and kind of just getting peppered down by LG in the first place. Everless had a good spawn near LG and you know, that immediate kind of like initial objective of trying to force them away from Mega Rip. And oh, that tribolt from out of literally nowhere, underestimating it. And in a split second, he died for it. That's uh, a message to be sent. And not good for Effortless. You know, he, he had a, a great start there, forced Waz away and then just... I can only assume he just forgot about the use of the tribolt from that range. Like, he just didn't expect it to be a threat. That's actually sick, by the way. If Effortless is going to go for that on top of the candle, on top of the you know the little chandelier-looking torchy boy there, we've seen that before as well a couple of times. But it's just... It's still nice to see all the, the very creative positional placement you can do with the totems. I do enjoy it. And we've seen what comes with it too. By the way, dual wield hurts a lot. But yeah, it's, it's, it's the, the strategies and... And the labbing, you know, <laughs> jumping into the, the, the private maps and looking for these little tactics for the tomes. It's it, you have to look out for it. And as, as the player defending against it, if you're not familiar with those angles, it's uh, kind of frustrating. We, we've seen firsthand today what a fully stacked up Galena can do, and uh, you've got to watch out for it. It does introduce an extra layer, you know, something else to worry about in a game where there's already a lot to think about at any given moment. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It makes you play 4D chess. Even even more so than the 3D chess. You play chess, I play checkers. Yeah, so that, was, that was a picture a long time ago. You play chess, I play checkers. I don't play either, personally. No, no. I don't either. I play Quake, though. Absolutely. 
Oh, Ooh. last place quake. Do you see that? That's that's a gamer move right there. That was a. I, I would call this a pro gamer move. Epic gamer moment, guys. <clears throat> Did you hear that tumbleweed come down? <laughs> 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 you know what though? To be fair to Waz, four to one already. Two minutes in, like he's actually popping off right now. He's absolutely gaming his heart. No, but in, in this position, it's, it's kind of hard to put a lid on. Uh, you know, normally this is a champion like Galena. You know, the whole purpose is to put those totems down, and you're the one that kind of gets that snowball, and you're the one that's kind of meant to have that momentum. Yeah. Because you can build up these totems, and even with that totem placed, of which it served no purpose, whereas Granted is going to turn around and not see it. There are two totems currently, and oh. this is going from bad to worse. And you know, Waz is just getting the perfect spawn traps. He, if there was one thing he was actually able to capitalize on Blood Covenant, it was perfect spawns. It's actually one of the things that Waz has been doing quite well throughout all of QPL, I think, is how, how he capitalizes on spawns. This is quite a bad map to, to face Waz against if he's able to do it. That was some absolutely tasty LG, though, and this should be a return. Thankfully, at last, we get another frag. And there is a nice amount of totem placement down there. You know, there's two totems unreturned. The third one, Overstack, at last. Here we go. This might be the moment Effortless can start to really get some momentum on deck. Surely that's a follow-up frag. Make it a 6-3 to three scoreline right here, right now. We should be able to get it. Ooh, he hasn't actually picked up the kill just yet. This actually should be the capitalization, although he keeps trying to go in for those rockets. The rockets don't seem to be landing, but in the end, he does get the kill. So now there's only a free frag difference. He's starting to at least bring it back somewhat into the game, although he's already lost two of those totems. Drops himself down a second now, firing off the warning rockets. The overall bombardment has left Waz in an awful spot. And effortless, he's back in the game. It was going to be disaster. You know, jump near this jump pad, he ran out of uh, LG ammo and almost died for it. But thankfully, he's been able to get back up and the totems, and once more, the totems have been keeping him nice and healthy. There's always at least one totem on the map for him to retreat to. And the huge stack of health, he's just about to hit that third point, actually, for the overstack if he needs it. He knows that Waz is nowhere near. Totems are still safe for now. And he's thinking about how safer his totem's going to be. And he's going for the sneaky boy. Yeah. Go for the sneaky boy. I like that. And now if he needs to retreat, he can. He's got the benefit of the totems. Unlikely for Waz to go out of his way to take down some of them. So I actually assume one of them is safe. Pops the dual wield. Trying to really pepper this damage down if he retreats to. Waz finally gets the kill and should be able to get a couple of bonus totems on the way if he can catch them. I know there was one nearby. Actually, no, he opted not to go down this hallway, so he didn't see it. Okay, small victories for Effortless so far. Oh, he's so stacked all the time. Can he even win this fight? Oh, that rocket hit its mark and then some. The fact that Waz was completely unable to take down these totems after a kill, you kind of need to, I think, start seeking them out because the more effortless has this avenue to get crazy damage and also distractions too. Waz is consistently being distracted by them. He's not able to fight for this control and now the totems are becoming a real pain in the backside for him, Jackie. Yeah, it's turning into a massive nuisance very quickly. He also has been past that totem that's up on top of the torch about two or three times now as well as he's passed it. So it, it, it's going to actually make it a bit awkward if he doesn't spot that one soon. Obviously, if he's not actually glancing for it in his eyesight. Again, the overstack is up as he's been able to plant down a third and final totem. Ooh, big connection from the rocket as well. A little bit of damage transferred across. Waz does actually have the akimbo out with the dual wheel. Oh, damage! Ouch. Gets him so low, but Effortless comes out in a much better position as he gets away, grabbing himself the Mega. He's still got one totem up. He can drop another one in around eight seconds. Oh, the rocket barely misses, but the lightning gun will tag. He should have some small health bubbles nearby that should help him out once he places the second one. Let's not forget the passive, right? She collects health, reduces cooldown for the next turret. It's so important, and it can be juggled you know, through all kinds of different health pickups that you can find here. He knows he's there, hits the rocket, aims a bit too far to the right side, expecting Waz to zig when he actually zagged, but uh, in this case, Okay, you can see Everless. He's been able to stack up a little bit. He's been able to get the totems on deck. It's the importance of why you have to, to your best of ability, you know, it's easier said than done, stop Galena from setting up. Because the moment yeah. she does, it's night and day. You know, fresh off the spawn, how many times did we see Waz overwhelm Everless? That's why he's on seven frags to begin with, right? But the moment she's able to set up, that was a lovely rocket, by the way, making it seven to seven. Once she sets up, it's, a, it's just, it's a different game. You're fighting a different champion entirely. It really does just make it so much harder on you. Ethelus actually now takes the lead, Ryan. All right, we've got a game on our hands here. This is actually going to be one that's going to be pretty intense. 8-7, things are changing. It's been a bit of a paradigm shift. Effortless might not have the best stack right now versus what Waz is bringing to the table, but definitely has the confidence and the momentum and wants to kick it off once again. Now the advantage going his way. Drops out another one of those effective totems to give him the 
stuff that he wants. Drops down with the aerial assault, spamming his way through, and things are getting electrifying. What a shocker, as he will get that kill again onto Waz. 9-7, to seven, make it 10-7, to seven, oh, as he word. is massacring him. Absolute turnaround and a half fair for this right now and it's constantly coming down to the totems where Waz is getting you know close to a frag yeah. and he thinks you know what and I'm gonna refrag oh another That's sneaky nice. boy another sneaky boy but he's constantly trying to get a refrag and it's like the the stack that Ephelus is building back up thanks to the totems is you can't just simply run in and, and get it back you have to pay attention to the fact the totems are in play but Ephelus is putting them in such weird locations I think it's kind of hard for Waz to juggle it yeah, I mean, they're really sneaky. It's good, though. You can see the Fury crafting coming in uh, full effect there with the way He's it's dead, been played. Sure. But yeah, unfortunately, that time around, you know, he, he hadn't actually been playing the game where you don't step on that one. He stepped on that one. That's not Oh, and Waz, wait a second. He's starting to get back into this fight now. Only two frags behind. Looked a little bit bleak for him, but now, look, no totems on the floor at all. And we might be going back to how things started off, where if you can stop her from saying up, Waz. Pretty far away from Evan's dual wield, but only one totem available. Back up! Oh, oh, what a shot! That rocket was absolutely sublime, and it undid a little bit of the rotation from the totems as well. That was such a pivotal rocket, I think, to just get Waz back into the fight. Dual wield has popped. Oh, here we go. He's forcing him away, trying to go back. He heard the health bubbles collected. A little bit of a range damage, but needs more to be done. An absolute mega gets collected. And there's a nice distance in between Heavy and Mega in timing. So actually, Waz could very well get both of these. Think about it like this as well. One frag between these two. We're coming up onto the final 60 seconds as well. There's a lot to play with here and a lot on the line as the aggression starts to come back out. Waz going in. He wants to be the one to open it up. If he ties it 11-11, this really could be anyone's game in the final 60 seconds that starts now. He's trying to hold out, waiting for the aggression to come back towards him. Mega's just come up, and Mega's just been taken. Oh, he's hot on his tails. He is going to be roaming around, trying to listen out for those audio cues, although they can't spot each other. If Ephanus just delays here, Ryan, he could actually walk away with the win and deny the third and final map going the way of Waz. Certainly the last time Waz is going to go out of his way to try and take one of those oh. crucial pickups. He knows he has to make a fight happen. Ephanus is getting some good damage, but it's not going to be face. enough. Hang on a minute, though. The keep away, he goes in for the final Pick up. I think this is the last time we're going to see him go for anything, if he even chooses to. He forgoes the Mega entirely, chooses to run down now and restack just a little bit. And yeah, Ephelus, he's not going to press. He's going to sit there and gather information. If he gets this frag, it's going to be over. What a defensive rocket, Waz, taking more time to retreat and try and stack up just a little bit. I hope it works. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, oh my word! Ephelus! Oh! Ephelus! I can't believe he gave his position away! Waz ran entirely past him! He could have just let him run past and he would have survived! And it all comes down to this is what he's trying to get the front oh Waz! He doesn't God. do it effortless even after he throws it away, Ryan. He still wins it out in the end as they go into the sudden death. My goodness. The that, play. Oh, that was at the last minute. I actually think it's... Uh, oh, my God. What a turnaround at the last. I was so scared for him. The moment... I mean, I know hindsight's oh. a wonderful thing, right? We as as the viewers can see the x-ray and we can, yeah, yeah. we can just see that we have Waz's perspective and we have the x-ray of Ephelus and we know by all accounts that Waz is not looking in that direction. So we know that all Ephelus has to do is sit and not do anything because Waz would have completely ran past him and, and you know none the wiser, right? But in the heat of the moment, of course, Everless just makes the assumption that Waz is going to check both sides. So he tries to get the shot off before, because that's what, if someone's playing absolute attention, that is probably what the best thing to do would have been. But uh, yeah, good that he was able to pick it up at the last second anyway, because that was almost complete and utter disaster. That would have been crazy. I think this is probably the tensest game we've had the entire way through, actually, of the night. It, it was so back and forth the entire time. That last like 15 seconds as well, just ridiculous in the way it all went down. Uh, definitely packed full of fantastic moments. Smart plays from the Galena the entire time. A lot of uh, totem placements that if you didn't know about, definitely write those down. Keep them in mind for the next time you're jumping on to play a little bit of Quake Champions. Yeah, but I mean, ultimately, uh, being able to get and turn it into a 2-1 at the last second, um, that was... 
<laughs> to be honest, that was important for Waz uh, to try and make that a 3-0. Uh, mm. Because, as like I said, right, if we're in this match, if we're in this series where a lot of players in this part of the, the Pro League are essentially trying to fight for that kind of mid-rank, any amount of 3-0s you can bring will just almost like completely assist your chances of avoiding relegation period, you know? And that's, uh, for a lot of these guys, kind of like what they're trying to stay as far away as possible from. However, if it becomes a 2-1, you know, it's a bit more evenly split. Yeah. And this even split of the players in this part of the leaderboard, I guess, just maintains itself after today's result. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to stagnate too much. They're not going to drop into a position where, you know, it looks like, oh, no, they're going to have to worry about relegation. You do stay fairly similar to where you are. It's unfortunate it wasn't the 3-0 because Waz really did put up a fantastic fight in the first two maps, although you cannot take it away from what Effortless did here on the third and final map. It was just all-out warfare the entire time, fantastically played, smart placements, a lot of really sick moves that gave him the edge, and just a, uh, a wonderful clutch there into the overtime as well. So, this was know, the moment. Play. Yeah, he, he completely wasn't wasn't looking that way at all. And uh, but it's yes, the turnaround. Oh yeah. Yeah. So th he he clearly hears him coming and shoots the rocket on prediction of coming around the corner. But he'd taken so much damage and yeah, that was just some absolutely delicious LG at the last second. But perfect demonstration of studying with Galena. Like he had those 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 totem locations. Some of them are really you know unique and. Uh, yeah, just nice to see a player doing their homework and reaping the rewards for just a couple of totems that went undetected, enough to keep him overstacked in the moments it really counted. Yeah, it was good to see, though. It's one of those where it's like those slight nuances that just give you an extra edge overall. But more than anything, it was just the overall precision he had. Going into that last map, it seemed like he was...